The ad hoc against crime, for some, it's the uh, emergency room for social services. For others, it is the bridge between the community and the criminal justice system or law enforcement. And we are also a community resource. I convened a meeting in November 1977 to deal with some unsolved homicides of women of the evening. As a result of that first meeting that was held in 1977, November, we continued to meet and then in 1978, uh, we decided to name the organization the Ad Hoc Group Against Crime. Our community is hurting and has not healed. We have these segregated pockets of poverty in our community. Uh, they are rooted in uh, failed policies. Uh, they were racialized. And so for us uh, as a community, we need to understand that history. But then it's also for us to move forward. We have to move forward with how we bring healing and how we bring justice. Our relationship with Ad Hoc came to be uh, when I lost my son, Hassan Williams, uh, March 13, 2015, in Seven Oaks Park. 18-year-old who was set to graduate um, at a park one day. Life was taken way too soon. I never wanted another parent to go through not knowing what happened to their child, especially in a violent crime like mine was taken from me. So I got real frustrated and uh, I asked Damon, I said, uh, why aren't there any cameras in these parks? And so we went and uh, we put a petition together and went door to door in the neighborhood. It was enough support from the community and the neighborhood when we turned in those petitions uh, to give voice, to use those funds, uh, to install those cameras. And that gave that family some hope. It was nice to see all the support we really had. When in my mind, it was just, you know, me losing my son, but there was a bigger picture of the, that park, that neighborhood as a whole. I became connected with Ad Hoc when my son Anthony was murdered uh, October the 4th, 2015. And I um, called Ad Hoc to actually get some help, try to figure out, you know, what I could and could not do. And if it wasn't for Ad Hoc, I don't know where I would be. They really are there for you and they really care for you. And I get phone calls, they check on me, they provide counseling, they have the mother meetings, the grief meetings, that all really helped and to have complete strangers to step in and willing to go to court with me, that is like the best feeling in the world. When I think about uh, Ad Hoc and how we are impacting justice in our community. I've often said that we have to be more than just, just that bridge between the community and the criminal justice system. We have to be a bridge for opportunity as well. And that's where the lens of justice sort of gets broader uh, for us. And that's why we're partnering with CDC to leverage economic opportunities. Us teaming up with Ad Hoc, this is to give the people in the community a second chance, reinvent themselves, or if nothing but teach them a trade that they never had. We want to give them a reason to believe they can take their hands and a skill and be a part of everything that goes on in the city. And that's why we're also looking to partner with other uh, businesses as well in Kansas City metropolitan area. That folks just need an opportunity uh, to learn and an opportunity to thrive. So whether it's plumbing, HVAC, electrical, construction, you name it, coding. If you have those abilities, I need your help. I need you to partner with us so that we can leverage those kinds of opportunities to the next generation that's coming behind us. That's a true investment. Because our community is suffering from the violence and need healing in more ways than one. And we're trying to provide that kind of a service.